I'm David Bacon, I'm a researcher in cosmology. So what we're finding now is that uh, the images that we're getting from the latest telescopes are absolutely enormous. They can be tens or hundreds of billions of pixels with hundreds of millions of galaxies in those images. So if I wanted to look at each galaxy in the image and I only spent one second looking at each galaxy, I'd need to spend five years in order to look at all of the galaxies in our latest astronomical survey. So there's just no way that I can do that. Instead, what we'll need are large computers that can look at each of those images and find out things about those galaxies, how bright they are, what size they are, looking for anything odd about those galaxies, and then we can make discoveries in that way. So that's one side of what these supercomputers can do. The other side is that we now have well-developed theories of what might be going on with the universe. For instance, with the law of gravity. There's now lots of evidence that the law of gravity is close to what Albert Einstein said it would be. But was he actually right about gravity? And how would you test that? One way of doing so is to make big simulations of huge regions of the universe with many, many simulated galaxies. And in the simulations, you see how the galaxies move and are drawn together by the gravity that you put into that simulation. Then you can compare the pattern of those galaxies that you see in your simulation with the pattern that you see in real life with observations from our latest telescopes. So this is our cosmology supercomputer in Portsmouth. It can do a billion calculations a second. It's called the Sharma supercomputer after Dennis Sharma, the famous astrophysicist. Amongst his many students was Stephen Hawking. We're going to be using this Sharma supercomputer both to make the huge simulations of regions of the universe and also to analyse the images from the latest telescopes.